guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be talking about the Masic X 2.4 ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. This is basically a ported ROM for the Redmi Note 5 Pro of MIUI and I have been using this ROM for quite a while now and I have to say everything on this ROM feels a lot more stable and smooth than I expected. And I have to say the ROM is literally one of the buttery smooth ROMs out there and I, I can feel like you guys know that I hate MIUI but over here I pretty much like whatever I see. So first of all let's talk about the launcher over here. This stock launcher is like pretty much the basic MIUI launcher but in this UI what's special you may ask? Well you won't see any kind of ads all over the of like MIUI over here. This is basically running on top of like MIUI and this is a modified version of course and this comes without any kind of like bloatwares or even ads so whenever you open like normal miui apps let me just show you if i open this file explorer app and as you can see it says it needs internet connection or something so here as you can see you won't see any kind of ads over here so wherever you go you won't see any kind of ads in the ui of this rom and if you're noticing this like background blur kind of thing it might look quite a bit distracting but it looks pretty cool the background like whenever you open a folder the background stays there and it blurs out so this is kind of a feature of this launcher i'll show you later on and by the way this stock launcher has everything from miui like you can swipe down from like anywhere from the home screen to the bottom it will get you to the quick settings panel and on this like quick toggles panel over here, you can change these quick toggles column and row numbers. So that is a really cool thing in my opinion. So you can change these kind of numbers and you can of course edit and add more stuff over here. And here everything looks super clean. You do not get the search kind of thing over here. If you go to the left here, you will get this like me home kind of thing where like what you will get in MIUI, but there it shows ads. But over here, there are no ads kind of thing. And you can even customize and stuff over here. So you can customize like add more stuff over here as you can see. But you won't see any kind of ads all over the device. And one really cool thing over here is you will get this kind of icon, the voice kind of icon over here. And if you tap on it, as you can see, it just launches the Google Assistant. So this is pretty cool feature in my opinion that you can just launch your Google Assistant from your home screen almost. So let's assume you're in your home screen, you swipe left, tap on this icon, Google Assistant is there for you. Pretty cool feature. Now one thing that I miss is that this search panel does not get you to the Google search option. So that's how it is. So you can just add this Google widget over here and you can just use it as your like normal Google search kind of bar. Pretty cool feature even widgets and stuff on the home screen does work super fine too now the next thing which i'm going to talk about is the stock theme over here so on this stock theme if you're noticing the icons looks a lot more like a lot different on, over here and this is a stock theme even look at this pubg icon over here so that is how the pubg games icon looks like so all the icons even for the third party apps like vlc sms backup like everything the torrent or like if you're noticing the true color icon es file explorer icon almost every third party icon looks a lot more different over here the me store icon looks a lot different even amazon shopping or amazon store aliexpress everything looks a lot different over here so this kind of looks cool and if you're noticing the youtube app icon the creator studio and whatsapp all the other things like instagram facebook chrome Every icon looks a lot more crispier over here and the colors on this ROM are really popping out. So if you love colors, you will definitely love this ROM. And by the way, let me show you the stock launcher settings over here. Let me go into the settings. So this is how it looks like and you can change the home screen layout to 4x6 or 4x7 and you have more stuff. So let me go into more. Now from here, things get a lot more interesting. Here you will get this gesture on the desktop so you can set the double tap action to turn off the screen and swipe up I have set it to recent apps so like I am using the full screen gestures of course over here and you have the normal show memory status over here so let me just go back and show you 
and if I double tap on the blank area as you can see the phone just goes to sleep and one more thing which is really really interesting I feel over here is a wake up feature like let me put the phone on the table like this and if I like just bring it out and as you can see it unlocks through the face unlock because I have already set up the face unlock I didn't need to touch the fingerprint scanner or even touch the power button so you don't need to do anything so I'll show you where the settings are so this is how the settings panel looks like here inside MIUI version we have like this MIUI version kind of thing here it says MIUI 10 MASIC 9.1.24 stable and inside all specs you will get like everything we have the security patch of January 2019 based on Android 8.1 of course not on Pi so that's how it is let me just go back but over here what I am really confused about is the updates well like whenever you want to update the ROM I do not know how you like one would do it because inside update MIUI it just opens the MASIC website and if you go about MASIC mod this just says MASIC X so that's pretty much it there is no default updater you can I guess dirty flash the ROM but I am not quite sure about it so that's how it is now over here let's go into display settings you will see a lot of things are a lot different so here one more cool feature we have is the screen brightness during calls so whenever you are in the in call UI the screen will be maxed out to the brightness if you turn on this feature so whenever you are out in like daylight it this feature will definitely help a lot of people and I'm telling you again this is one amazing ROM on top of MIUI and double tap to wake and stuff is there of course raise to wake is there this is the feature I'm using over here like the raise to wake this feature I am really loving it because I did set up my face unlock and the face unlock like with the face unlock this feature just shines the phone and like it feels a lot more different whenever like I pull out the phone from my pocket or from the table I do not have to like press the power button or touch the fingerprint scanner the phone just right away unlocks with my face so that is like really like wakes up with the raise and just unlocks with the face so if you want to call it that way it rhymes <laughs> so let me go back and over here inside sound and vibration now over here you have a lot of customizations here you can set the vibrate on tap you can set it to light if you feel that it's a little bit harsh and over here we have a lot of customizations you have like most volume panel customization over here ring alarm media notification volume system volume etc stuff and of course we do have the let me just go back yes it shows from here here as you can see it shows all the volume panels it shows four panels over here like of from MIUI 10's volume panel feature and here as you can see everything works now let me go into the sound settings again and from here you can select this also vibrate for calls over here and vibrate in silent mode option is there vibrate when unlocking option is there and you can like disable most of the sounds over here dial pad tones tap tones screen locking sound screenshot sound you can disable most of the things over here you can even disable the delete sound and even low battery sound if you want that let me just go back and show you more interesting feature inside lock screen and like stuff we have the face data of course the face unlock kind of thing the fingerprint scanner speed is really fast let me just show you as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is really fast over here in this ROM and what else we have the advanced settings we have some more stuff over here like the pocket mode and vertical clock so if I just like move from here as you can see the lock screen clock looks like the Samsung kind of thing so this looks pretty cool and if you disable it this will look like the default MIUI let me show you as you can see it looks like the default MIUI now so that's how it is now let me just quickly go back and show you some other stuff and I have been using this full screen gestures from here and the full screen gestures are working super fine over here I do not have any complaints this is like super smooth of course MIUI 10 gestures are already super smooth no complaints regarding that now let's talk about the battery life the battery life I'm getting over here is insane I'll like stick some screenshots over here I got around 9 plus hours of screen on time even with playing PUBG so this is the most battery saving ROM I ever found I guess like right now and I have to say the battery life on this ROM is super insane 
like even with playing like pubg for like what more than half an hour i got around nine plus hours of screen on time with it so zero complaints regarding the battery life i have and inside ad additional settings we get like some more stuff and even like this audio output let me talk about it from the intro i think you have guessed it and i am really enjoying the audio output via the headphone jack on this rom well while flashing this rom you will see like a lot of presets you want to choose to like install i think i have installed the harman kardon kind of audio and this thing is like late this thing is super late the audio output via the headphone jack is insane it is even better than the, the stock miui on the redmi note 5 pro that i can say and if you like change it to the youth edition from the headphones and audio effects this becomes just amazing and i am really enjoying like listening to music on this rom so that is how it is i am really enjoying these kind of things so i am saying it again and again and app lock and stuff is working fine over here as you can see i did like lock whatsapp and it's working fine with the fingerprint scanner now let's talk about some other things over here the stock camera well the stock camera is of course the miui camera and everything works the portrait mode and stuff works we even have ai even we have ai portrait mode as you can see and the ai portrait mode as you can see it simply does not work kind of so let me just go back and so if you go into ai it kind of disables the portrait mode so i'll just take a picture in normal portrait mode and this is how it looks like so of course the portrait mode and stuff is working fine as you can see the ceiling fan behind me is like totally blurred over here so the edge reduction is pretty good so one more good thing over here is that the pre-enabled camera to api we get over here in this rom so i did install pixel 3 camera and as you can see over here this pixel 3 camera is running super fine even though this is totally like on based on what the android 8.1 not on the what do you call android pi so that's how it is and you can like enable portrait mode and stuff from here let me just go back we have to disable the camera app of like from here so this is the google camera i'll just go into the apps info and just for stop it and let me just go home let me open it up again and as you can see we do get the portrait mode over here so let me just click another portrait selfie with the pixel 3 camera and show you that it's working or not and by the way this is the indian variant of the redmi note 5 pro so that is why the front camera is working fine if you have the global variant it might not work and it's processing the hdr so as you can see it did work so from here as you can see the background like ceiling fan is totally blurred so the portrait mode is working super fine over here and it does click two pictures at the same time one with bokeh and one without so this works fine as you can see so i have zero complaints regarding this rom you can guess already and google pay and stuff already working fine like super fine with this rom i have no complaints regarding like google pay and stuff so i am really like happy that google pay works right away in this ported rom so the developers are really like doing amazing job i know the rom has some russian language and stuff so for that you might be having some privacy issues not really issues it just like self issues if you call it that way so you might feel a little bit risky but i am using the google pay on this rom it's not a problem at all so that's how it is now let me talk about one like some of the more things if you're noticing the icons over here it has a bit of shadow on the bottom so this you can enable it and the icon kind of glows from the background you can enable and disable it and by the way the wallpaper over here is the stock wallpaper i am using and let me just go into the settings and you have like more settings so from here we have this folder blur background so this is the blurry background that i showed you already and we have this shadow of icons on the desktop so this is a feature kind of which like makes this like mirror kind of finish on the bottom of the dock kind of icons so that's how it is the rom feels really really smooth over here now let me quickly open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management over here
So as you can see, I'm opening all the apps from memory and all the apps are in memory of course. So the RAM management of this ROM is really good, but the Chrome did full stop kind of. So that's how it is. And everything like is super fluid. Just look at this. So as you can see, the ROM is super fast. Now, some of you guys have been asking me that if this ROM has Magisk, well here as you can see, this ROM has Magisk over here and as you can see it says Magisk is up to date. So if you want to use Magisk modules and stuff, this will work super fine. Now let me talk about some more good things over here and if you hold like tap and hold the power button, it will show up the power menu of course. Now over here you can you have the option to directly re, like reboot to recovery option and even you can directly reboot to fast boot. So this is a really great thing. You can directly reboot the phone normally and shut down and silent and put the phone into airplane mode. So these are really cool features in my opinion. Now let's talk about one more thing that you guys have been asking me. Well the default screen recorder over here. Well does it record the game audio or if you record any gameplay does it record it? Well like the system in system sounds over here I, I would say so as you can see we have the source sound over here as you can see sound source it you can select the system sounds mic or totally mute the audio so you can't like choose both at the same time so you have to use like system sound or mic at, like at one time and I did record my gameplay of PUBG I'll show that to you right now So as you can see from here, one disappointment is that PUBG does not simply run on HD settings over here in this ROM. And we do not even have the high settings I guess. Over here we can only play in medium, in the balanced and the like low settings. So that's how it is. It is really disappointing that we do not get the HD and high settings. But yeah, I am okay with it. Uh, like we can record the gameplay at least with the uh, internal sound. So that is a really good thing. As you can see, the Volte calls from like in this ROM does work super fine with both the sims, even dual Volte works. And we have the video calling option up top here. And we have the recording call option and the loudspeaker and stuff from here. So Volte has no issues with this ROM. So if you have two Geo Sims, you can use this ROM pretty much with zero issues. Now there are a lot more features in this ROM which I may not be like using. And over here, I am really impressed that no MIUI kind of apps shows ads over here. Here as you can see, we have all the MIUI apps, the Mi video and stuff. This does not show you ads. So that is a really cool thing. It does not show you ads at all. So I'm pretty happy with this ROM and I, I will be using it as my daily driver whenever I need it in the future pretty much that I can confirm. So really impressed with this ROM I would say and the stability and performance of this ROM is like a lot better and even the battery life. This is one best battery life I got like ever in me why kind of ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that is pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and that is pretty much it for this Masic X2.4 ROM for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Let me know what do you guys think in the comments down below and this is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.